Hello, lovely sword people. Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we are going to have a look at the fifth part of Achille Marozzo's Primo Assalto, which, where are we? The Agente, which we are active, taking the in initiative uh, of our opponent with a beat to the sword. We start in Porta di Ferro Alta, and it's fairly important that our opponent is in Porta di Ferro Alta or Stretta as well. So in a guard where their blade is actually presented to us. From here, we are going to throw a Tramazzone, a wheeling cut on our inside from the, left uh, from the right to our left, and stepping into their sword with the left foot. So we are passing through uh, Cinghiare Porta di Ferro. From here, we don't stop and throw a Punta in Falso to their right side while stepping forward with the right. So together, the beat and the thrust exploiting their lowered position with the sword. This it gets uh, displaced from our opponent to their outside, so to our left or to uh, upwards, which leads us into the next blow, which is a rising blow from our left, a uh, reverso ridoppio. This is an ideal position because now we are under the blade to use our left hand to perform a presa, a grip or a wrestling action to then finish the fight. If this doesn't work well, he writes, if it doesn't seem good to you, you can of course step with a right and throw any mandrito you like, so any uh, blow from the right side, followed up with a tramazzone into Porta di Ferro Lager. From there, we are waiting on the action of our opponent, which we then cover with the false edge, a falso manco or a aufstreichen in the German terms, followed up with a reverso ridoppio, all the way through to Coda Longa e Destesa. And from here we perform a retreat and cover, which could be a falso and a mandrito, or maybe two mandriti with two steps. The important part is we end in Cinghiare Porta di Ferro. And from there we embellish the play. We perform a turn to our right. This is not unlike a guard of Filippo Di Vardi. And from here, we enter into Guardia d'Entrare. So a turn to our right and a turn to our left into Guardia d'Entrare. Okay, let's see it all complete in motion. So first version with a presa, a beat to the sword, punta in falso, reverso ridoppio, and then wrestling action. Or beating the sword, thrusting, reverso ridoppio, step to the right, to mandriti, falso and reverso, and going back, embellishing the play. And one more time in fluid motion. Beat, thrust, ridoppio, to mandriti, Go around <laughs> and embellish the play. Okay, now let's see it with a partner in fluid motion. Thank you. So like I said, we are both in a point forward guard. So actually the beat I think is fairly small. Maybe you could wind up, but that presents a uh, tempo to your opponent to attack you. So I would keep this fairly uh, low profile and economic as a motion. I also wouldn't do a big tramazzone here into the uh, punta in falso, but it's more like a small motion to rise up here. This was our first step. With the thrust, there's the second step. And then with the reverso ridoppio, there's the third step. Maybe you're already reaching the hands, but now you see you're probably in a distance where you can perform a presa, so a grip with your left hand, could do anything you'd, you'd like to take their weapon, to uh, push them to your left side and then strike your mandriti. Well, that's the first version. Again, a small beat, a thrust, 
step in, maybe they, they defend this as well. And now you're close enough to perform anything, a presa, look at Fiore if you want a, a special one, or maybe at later text of Marozzo, so a uh, sword, uh, unarmed versus dagger, that's fairly good, and you perform their presa and finish them. But if they step back, or you don't get all that, uh, that small measure, then maybe a presa isn't that useful anymore. So still, I try to get close, but here this is too far away. Right? It would be a too big of a tempo to get here, too dangerous. So instead, I go for my two mandriti, one, two, and then from here, it's a usual defense of Marozzo with a falso or aufstreichen, followed by a reverso, following through, then we are in Cora Longa e Destesa, and from here we go back and embellish the play looking fabulously. So once more, with the second variation, we still beat, try to get in, and maybe now we are on the other side, doesn't matter. We are going in with our reverso ridoppio. We are too far away, strike and strike. Maybe you can even strike the second behind the blade, it's fine as well. From here, if something comes, aufstreichen or far zu manco, reverso, uh, fendente, right down into Coda Longa de Cesa. Get out, cover and retreat and embellish the play for the next part of the Primo Asalto. Thank you. So I hope you liked the fifth part of Achille Marozzo's Primo Asalto. Remember, this is mainly a solo drill with some applied uh, techniques in it, but of course you can pick your techniques out of the solo drill at any time and perform a much more focused partner drill with these. If you liked it, share this video, uh, comment, and we see you in the next one. Ciao.